Hey guys, it's Kenya here from Kenya Ray, and today I am going to be sharing how you can make your old countertops brand new using the Gianni Granite Countertop Paint Makeover Kit. So paper plates, you will definitely need those in the painting process. This is going to be the card we'll use to demo. And then here are your main paint colors. The screwdriver we'll use to go ahead and open up our paint cans. I recommend that you get your plates ready and set them out so that when you get to the painting process, you have them already there and ready to go. Now this is just a demo of what you would do on your actual countertop. Um, so just to show you when you first get started, what you would want to do is go ahead and use the primer, which is labeled as step number one. And you would prime your entire countertops using the primer um, and the roller that is inside of the kit. So this comes in the box. You do not have to go out and buy this. And you would just use that to cover your whole entire countertops. Now, this is a demonstration of just what you would do, but because this paper is already black in color and matte like it would be after the painting is done, then we don't need to do that step. Next we have the sponge, and this is also something that comes in the kit. It is not something that you have to go out and buy separately. Um, I have already cut it up into the four pieces, but just to show you, this is what it looks like when it is in the kit and all together. Then you take and cut it in half, making it in two sections, and then you take and cut each one of those halves into half, making a total of four sections. So you have one for each color that you will be using on the countertops and then your blending one. So now we wanna go ahead and pour the paint. And we're gonna use the three paper plates that we previously set out, one for each color that we have. So we wanna go ahead and pour it in small amounts and then as you use it, you can add more to the plate, but to keep it from drying, which it shouldn't dry out too quickly because you're gonna move pretty fast, but um, just to have a lesser amount, personally, I felt like it was easier to manage and not make a mess by having the smaller amounts on the plates. So we'll go ahead and do that. So before we get started, I want to show you the wrong way, followed by the right way to go ahead and paint your countertops. So we want to grab our sponge and using the outer part, go ahead and dip it into our first color, which is 2A for the chocolate brown kit, and go ahead and put it onto the surface. Now, what you will see that we did here by pushing too hard with the sponge is left blotchy blobs on the countertops, and that is from blotting it. Now, let me show you the right way, which is gonna be dabbing it. We'll start out the same way with the sponge with paint on it, and just lightly touch the surface with the outer part of the sponge, going in a nice even motion. Now, if you see here where we dabbed it, it's nice and airy, it lets the black shine through, but where we blotted it, it just looks really splotchy. All right, now that we did that, let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna go ahead and use the same sponge, same paint 2A, which is our first one using the dabbing motion. We'll go through and cover a two foot section, uh, just using a kind of a pattern, I guess. I, as I went through, I think it kind of got different each time, but I think that's what makes it nice is that it's kind of abstract like art. Um, so once you cover that section completely with your 2A color, you'll then be able to move on to your next color. And then we move right on to our second color using a fresh sponge, shaking it off to make sure that there's no extra sponge material. We do the same thing, dipping it in the paint, 
removing the excess, and then we go right on top of the other color, no need to wait for it to dry. So now this is color 2B in the chocolate brown kit, which is what I am using on my countertops. And we're just going to do the same thing going over it with the second color, getting more paint as needed. Now on to our last color, same thing, fresh sponge, check it, make sure there's no excess. Go ahead and dip it in the paint and brush off any extra. This color was a little bit stronger, um, so I used it a little bit more sparingly um, and went over the other two layers the same way. Lastly, we want to use our last and final piece of sponge. No paint needed. We just are going to dab over it to kind of blend it a bit, um, all three colors. You'll see that it kind of dabs off some of the extra, um, primarily of the dark color because that's the last one that we used. And then from there, what I will do is go in and fill in some of the spaces so that you don't see so much black. So now I'm going back over it, this time with all three colors. You will see that as I go back over it, I go in wider stretches though, um, because I'm not looking to completely cover it this time. I'm just looking to kind of fill in some of the gaps. So you'll see that um, I just go through and kind of dab over it. With the light color, um, I do that one and then follow up with the one that's a little bit darker or in between and then if needed I added the third color because that one is really a strong color um, if I didn't feel like I needed it then I would just skip it but the goal was just to get like a nice healthy blend of all three colors And here you can see the final outcome once all of the three colors were nicely blended with the black showing through. Now at this point is where sanding may be required using a 600 grit sandpaper. You would just lightly go over the countertops to smooth and even it out. So once you have completed that step, then you will be ready to start your top coat. You should have a nice clean surface as you will have wiped it off with a damp cloth after sanding and your top coat is ready to go. Using the roller applicator that was included in the kit, there should be a second roller to put on the utensil so that you can go ahead and cover your countertops. There is no extra tool required for this step. And that's it. And here's a peek at the finished product. So before I started out with black, dark granite countertops that appeared outdated and made my kitchen look really dark. And now the completed project, I have nice brown marble looking countertops that absolutely brightened the room.